the basic idea is like we develop such smart patch to help people with type 1 and advanced type 2 diabetes. And you can see here, um, inside such patch, we have uh, many small microneedles. And inside each microneedle, we have like glucose responsive uh, insulin or glucagon release components. So once the blood level goes high, the insulin can be quickly released from such patch. And once blood level becomes normal, less insulin can be released. And meanwhile, uh, if the risk of the hypoglycemia, that means blood level um, becomes too low, if that situation happens, the glucagon can be released outside to alleviate the risk of the hypoglycemia. And certainly it's because the microneedle is very small and can potentially also enhance the quality of life of people with type 1 diabetes and uh, advanced type 2 diabetes. Once I was tried, uh, I was very interested in uh, many things associated with the biology, right? Let's say the um, biochemistry and also like medicine uh, to potentially help people with many diseases, including uh, cancer and diabetes. And uh, somehow I didn't perform very well in the Gaokao, the Chinese examination to the college. Then I joined the Nanjing University's uh, chemistry department. But later I found that the chemistry actually also can do many things, including, um, bio, bi including biology or associated with like medicine, like biosensors, like uh, biomaterials uh, for uh, enhancing uh, drug delivery. And later I just follow my heart, follow my passion, and join the UCLA's uh, um, chemical and biomolecular engineering department, and then I can continue my uh, interest. Yeah, and uh, I admit to the. Um, let's say the material science engineering, and uh, but uh, somehow that faculty member didn't have the sufficient fund, and then I moved to the mechanical engineering, and worked on the um, designing the biochips, that's the silicon chip, and then you know we can put the DNA protein molecule on the chip, and for the diagnosis purpose. And later, due to the interest transfer, interest change, and I later transferred to the uh, chemical engineering and biomolecular engineering department to do uh, something associated with the protein engineering and the protein delivery. So it's still like quite challenging uh, to translate the technology uh, from the bench side to the better side to really help people. Uh, so uh, that's why at uh, that moment I decided to run a startup company. And uh, uh, with such a um, company, and we can hire uh, like a CEO and later on to set up a team and also attract uh, um, investments. And with the sufficient money, we can uh, quickly bring the technology uh, to like a large animal study and then to accumulate the sufficient data to move forward. I feel really excited to join Zhejiang University and the College of Pharmaceutical Sciences because I feel here people really highlight innovation and care about training next generation of innovators. And meanwhile, uh, people really run everything in an efficient and effective way. As a dean of the College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, I really want to further boost the international impact of our college and also uh, promote the translation of innovations, especially creating new drugs as our major task. And meanwhile, I will try my best to converge a variety of resources to promote the development of our college. Training the next generation innovators with the international vision is always a major task of our college. We really want to make our college an epicenter to train students with broader background for speeding translation of innovations.